April is a questionable month filled with questionable sink fears. Can we also question the amount of gems that we're getting? Well, in this video, let's find out together. So with that said, sit tight, relax, let's enjoy this gem count video. Here we go! Yo, 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 this is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. You are his Team Skull Grunt, and this is Pokemon Masters EX. Guys, first of all, I tried my best to finish this yesterday. I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this video. Unfortunately, my body will not cooperate with me. As you might know, I have been hospitalized two weeks ago. And I'm trying to live a brand new life, a fixed life. So, I tried. I could not. I, My body just will not, you know, just bear with me. And, you know, with all that, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know in the comment section how you are doing with your gems. Personally, I think I'm good for this month. And hopefully, I do not get shafted in any of these sink beers. But really questionable month six limited time sync pairs not exactly great but with that said i would like to give a huge shout out first to my awesome members who have been supporting me all throughout these years thank you congratulations jeremy you have finally reached two years thank you so much for the support and everyone else thank you thank you thank you all these you know months years and whatsoever of support i would also like to thank my awesome gifters out here who have been extra generous and showering random people with memberships guys if you want to get a membership free membership have access to my members only videos like my dance videos don't forget to be active in the live chat in the comment section the thumbs ups in the sharing and maybe don't forget by the way to turn on gifting for yourselves because if you have them off, you will not be able to receive gifts. So, maybe you'll be one of the lucky people who've been showered with gifts. Thank you all my gifters for your awesome generosity. Guys, if you want to become a member, you can always click on the join button down below. And become a member of my channel for as low as one US dollar a month. Help out a good cause. And with that said, let's begin this gem count video. As you might know, we have so many events this month. Questionable events, but quite a lot. But the month of March is not yet over. We still have. Today is March 30. Probably when you're watching this, it's already reset time. 30 and 31. Two days, no more extra login bonuses aside from your usual login bonus, which will give you 100 gems if you've been logging in daily from the very beginning. If not, maybe you'll get something else. And by finishing your daily missions, by going to your daily scout, by talking with your trainer in the trainer lodge, and so on and so forth, you can get 80 gems per day for 160 gems for two days. And by going to your purchase gem screen, you can claim 20 gems times two, which is equivalent to 40 gems. And that, the end of the month, will still be receiving a measly. 300 gems but there's only two days left so 300 gems is so so all right let's begin with this month next month rather with the update coming tomorrow end of the month costume update or costume event solve the case where steven and shauna get alternate outfits special costume units or should i say costly outfits this event is separated into two parts. First part will give us 1,100 gems. It starts on March 31, ends on May 1. You have a lot of time to do this. Number two, you have Metronome Day. This is only a one-day event. You battle against Clefairy. You use a team of Togepis. You get zero gems. But every single move that you unlock using Metronome, I wish that there was a 
a special reward that gives you an extra high amount of gems if you're able to land Fisher, which I am not able to land Fisher until now. But land any of the 18 types of moves and you get a random, a set amount of gems. I forgot how much gems you get. But r r unlock all the 18 types of moves except Fisher. And you can get 1,050 gems from Metronome Day. Let's move on to helping out on Passio. It starts on April 2 and ends on May 1. By the way, guys, this is the April Fool's event. And I think the entire event is actually April Fool's because the entire update is April Fool's. It's, I have no idea what this update is about. Anyway, guys, next we have helping out on Passio. This is uh, an event spanning several days. So the mission rewards, if you remember last year, we have the riddle event where you have to solve some other things, some you have to do certain stuff. This is this year's riddle event. So I'll be making a video for this one, probably if I have time. And you can get a, a total of 1,550 gems spanning 20 days. I think it's 20 days separately. For a total of that amount of gems, guys. So, helping out on Passio, do not expect to get these gems on day one. It's at the end of 20 days at least. Next, we have the Poison Dragon and Flying Type Egg event where you can get a shiny uh, Pidgey, shiny Nidoran male. And I'm, until now, I'm waiting for Nidoran female to give me a shiny which I have not yet gotten a single... Nidoran or Nido Queen, shiny Nido Queen yet. But Nido King is available as a shiny. Pidgeot is available as a shiny here. As usual, all egg events give us 120 gems. Next, we have part two of the Solve the Case cosplay event, which also gives us 1,100 gems. This time, cosplay Zinnia takes the lead as well as cosplay Lyra, who is in a team rocket outfit. I'm not sure if that's enough to call that a special costume unit. I mean, you can just say rocket or team rocket Lyra. But no, they decided to give this a special cosplay like undercover. Like what the heck? Next, we have Trainer Files Kanto Elite 4. This one is like a solo event and this one will feature Lorelai and Bruno. I'm assuming there's a part two gonna happen. Oh yeah, this is not April 13. Let me just fix it, guys. So this one, part one, features Lorelai and Bruno. I'm assuming there's gonna be a part two featuring Agatha and Lance. And the sad and frustrating, and I don't know why they decided to give alternate limited outfits to Lorelai. No, not limited outfits, but limited versions, variety scouts. Of Lorelai and Bruno. That means we're expecting Agatha. Roy, it's all your fault. Agatha and Lance will probably have a variety scout. And by the way, these two are support sync pairs. Lorelai, I think, is very, is quite good with undying recovery. And undying is like a tech support can make the opponents uh, receive some interesting debuffs. But still, limited time unit. DNA has completely forgotten that Spotlight Scouts exist. How many limited time units have we received for the last several updates? And until now, everyone we are getting is limited, 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 limited. In fact, I think the rerun sync pairs for the spring sync pairs and the last year's special costume sync pairs belong to tiered scouts and i'm not sure if tiered scouts will have a non-paid route but i if they stick to the paid route it's all limited 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 like what the heck anyway guys 870 gems from the trainer files canto elite 4 part 1 we're expecting a part 2 soon so let's add all these gems up costume event part 1 solve the case gives us 1100 gems Special Event Metronome Day, a.k.a. April Fools, gives us 1,050 gems. Helping out on Passio gives us 
1550 gems, Poison, Dragon, and Flying type Egg Event gives us 120 gems. Solve the Case Part 2 Cosplay Event gives us another 1100 gems. And the Trainer Files Kanto Elite 4 Part 1, which we're expecting a Part 2 soon, gives us 870 gems, adds them all up, and we get 8060 gems. Interesting, not too bad for the first few events. Hopefully, this keeps up with the next several slides. Alright, we have Paolo Interlude. Starts on March 11. And in fact, I haven't played through my own Paolo Interlude yet ever since they updated last, 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 last month or something like that. I haven't even played through my villain arcs yet. But there's another one. I think this is an interesting chapter. I would love to see this. Paolo, I think, is starting to go the evil dark route. I'm not sure. I haven't seen my own. So 10 gems from this one, just one story area. We have the special event, Passio Special Stadium. I was looking forward to getting a new champion here. But at the same time, not excited about us uh, scouting a new champion. Thankfully, it's an old one. It's Champion Serena. And no, we are not getting a rerun of Champion Serena. But from this one, we can get 700 gems because by finishing Lorelai, you get 100. Finishing Bruno, you get 100. Finishing Bertha, you get 100. Jim Grimsley, you get 100. And Champion Serena, you get 300 gems. By getting 12,500 points in this one, you get Certificates of Excellence. You get Champion Spirits enough to make a 6-star EX Sync player. And uh, yeah, now that I see it, it's Lorelai and Bruno here. So maybe the Trainer Files will have... There's also a possibility that instead of Agatha and Lance, we get... Bertha and Grimsley, but they did say that Kanto Elite 4 gets Spotlight first. So maybe, maybe Kanto Elite 4 instead. And then we have Pokemon Masters Day. I'm not sure why DNA does not give us the images anymore, but we're getting um, Roxanne 6 Star EX. And by the way, guys, check out your game right now. If you want, you can actually 6 Star EX. A couple of your sync pairs right now, your BP sync pairs aside, except for the master BP sync pairs. Your trainer lodge sync pairs can also be 6 star EX. So maybe you can 6 star EX some of your sync pairs, some of your favorites. But this one gets a special 6 star EX style, which the others do not exactly get. Pokemon Masters Day, you get 1030 gems. And that's that. Let's begin, Paolo Interlude, 10 gems, Passio Special Stadium, 700 gems, Pokemon Masters Day, 1,030 gems. Add them up, 1,740 gems. Not a lot, but if we add this up to the 8,060 earlier, we get 9,800, close to 10,000. I guess that is not too bad. We have more. We have reruns. Now we go to the Pazio Explorer story event. The interesting here is that there's a daily egg hunt challenge that gives you 30 gems for 14 days. You do not want to miss this. Every single miss, every single day you miss, you lack or you miss out on 30 gems. So you do not want to miss this. Like how you do not want to miss Metronome Day because it's one day only, guys. So this one will give you 1,510 gems, and these are the only two Spring Sync Pairs that we have in the game. The game decided not to give us more of these Spring Sync Pairs. I'm not sure why, but because I really like Springberg. Springberg is like one of the best Sync Pairs. And Spring May is a good defensive striker support. Not sure why they stopped giving us these types of Sync Pairs, and instead Focus on earning money by getting us, giving us four cosplay units per April. Shake my head. Next, we have Regirock event missions. Three Kalos Sing Pierce, three Steel Types, and three main characters give you 1,000 gems for Regirock. Curious event, or rather costume event, Curious Tea Party. This one is split into two halves. 
One, we have Curious Tea Party, the usual, um, the main event, and we also have Solving Wonderful Mysteries, where you have to solve each one individually, you get the idea. So, Curious Tea Party gives us 650 gems, the other half give you 1,090 gems, I do not want to elaborate on this anymore, but... This starts on April 22, and you can scout for them in a tiered scout. I'm not sure, again, if it's gonna be non-paid gems or paid gems only because tiered scout. But, lots of gems from this event, 650 plus 1,090. And then, we have Cresselia happening end of the month, April 26 to May 9. Use three Hoenn Sing pairs, use three Dark types, use three Elite Four members, give you 1,000 gems. For this one, considering that you have already fought against Cresselia before, way, way before. Now, let's add them up. Hasio Explorers, 1510. Regirock, 1000. Curious Tea Party Part 1, half, half split, 650. Solving Wonderful Myths Mysteries, 1090. And Cresselia gives you 1000 gems. Add them up. 5,250 gems. Add this up to the previous amount of 9,800. We have reached 15,050 gems. Is this a good amount? Considering 6 limited time sync pairs. Definitely not. But DNA has rarely been kind to us. That gives us 30,000 gems. Every anniversary only so i'm not expecting a huge huge amount but i'm expecting it to reach at least 20,000 25,000 something like that hopefully we can get at least 10,000 gems more let's see here we go with the easier events the events that give us a lot of gems with not too much effort we got blissful bonanza starts on april 8th to April 14 gives 1,200 gems for 7 days. Do not miss any day, please. Special Rally, use 2,500 stamina. Okay, this requires a little bit of effort because if you miss logging in for a day, you might have a hard time. Or miss 2 days, you might have a hard time with this one. 900 gems for finishing 2,500 stamina. Next, we have Battle Villa. It's already season... I think it's season 38, not 37. Let me check. Finish Hall 30, you get 2,000 gems. Next, we have Special Login Bonuses. This one gives us the most amount of gems. Solve the Case Part 1, 1,000 gems. Solve the Case Part 2, give you 1,000 gems. I'm hoping that the other events like the Trainer Files give us more gems and stuff. But we do not have any other Login Bonuses aside from these. We got the Daily Login Bonus, the usual ones. Will give us 1,900 gems if you've been logging in daily. You got daily missions, finish all your missions, trainer lodge, daily scout, etc, etc. 2,400 gems, that's 80 times 30. And for going to the purchase gem screen to get your gift gems, you can get 600 gems plus 400 plus 300 equals 1,300 gems for the entire month of April. Giving you a total of 7,600 gems. And how much do we get if we add them up together? Let's see. Blissful Bonanza, 1,200. Special Rally, 900. Battle Villa, 2,000. Login Bonuses, 7,600. Add them up, 11,700 gems. Above 10,000. Nice! Okay, if we add this up to the 15,050 gems earlier, we get 26,750 gems. Okay, at least, at least above 25,000. But is this a good amount for 6 limited time units? Again? No! Because if you get shafted and that's scout points... That's 36,600 gems immediately and that is not enough to reach scout points for any sync pair that you're scouting for. Is this enough to scout for one more multi-pool on your 
Cygna suit or rather champion Marnie champion hop champion bead I'm not sure you can count that for yourself I included the dates so check it out for yourself let me know in the comment section if you need gems for them until the right now you're desperate to get them you're worried that you might not get them hopefully you get them though each one of them is good in its own way but I made some points about their w bad worst side in my do not scout videos as well so check them out if you wish to if you want to not be convinced if you want to be convinced to skip them check out my do not scout videos but each one of them is pretty good in their own right all right add this up oh wait no not really um we still have we computed earlier 300 gems for march so if we add the 300 gems we get a grand total 27,050 gems. Is this good? Um, I already made my point for this one. This is not exactly good. This amount... Hit the thumbs up. Because it took me forever to come up with this amount. And took me some sleep cycle changes. You know, help me out. Tell me in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe whatsoever. But this amount does not include anything you get from the trainer lodge in fact i will not be getting gems from the trainer lodge until i reach a certain amount of interactions like 1500 so it's still far off i will not be receiving um more gems if i do not have 17 sync pairs friendship level 100 by adding um steven to the mix that's gonna be 16 so we'll have to wait for another month in order to get 17 sync bears, something like that. So this does not include anything you get from the Trainer Lodge. This does not include any paid gems or paid bundles that you decide to go if you are not free to play. But you can get a lot of gems with these bundles. They're pretty worth it. But I'm not supporting that or I'm not promoting that in any way in this slide or in this video. But we're also... Not forgetting that we have a welcome Volgai rally, which will give us Hiya. 500 gems only. You know, if this was 3,000 gems, I'm not sure why they decided to give us 500 gems only for this one. If it was 3,000 gems, we would have received 30,050 gems. Or 30,000, yeah, 30,050 gems. But they decided to give us 500 gems only, which is very sad because we're ending up with 27,550 gems only. And that is the final gem count of this video, guys. We're getting 27,550 gems starting March 30 to the end of April, excluding any extra rallies that we might have, excluding the next update if there is another update coming in the next month or something excluding apollo gems excluding anything else excluding if you win the fan art something something we're not including that we're getting 27,550 gems ha <sighs> took me so so much effort to talk i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to do everything i said earlier but with that, check out my upcoming April 2023 Sing Pierce Who to Scout for video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make one for Steven since he's coming out tomorrow. And there's gonna be also a 1 out of 5 or none out of 5 scouting guide if you decide to just get one copy of each. I will discuss them each one briefly, what they can do with their base kit. So. This one, if you just want one copy, check this out. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna be done in time for Cosplay Steven. But with that said, that is the end of my Jam Count video for April 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, become a member like these awesome people. Or become active to be showered randomly with gift memberships from these awesome people. Or until Yuki Murasaki decides to gift. That's when I add your name here, Sasuke. But thank you everyone for your kindness, for your generosity, and thank you to all my members for all your support. 
I would like to give a huge shout out to each one of you. Thank you, Shadow Phil, for two years, more than two years of masterable tier member. You are crazy. And thank you so much for your kindness. Thank you, Ultra Bolt here, Marokman. Thank you, Great Bolt here members, Aurora Espion and Yuki Murasaki. Thank you, Premier Bolt here members, Shido Vods. Thank you to my two year Pokeball members, Alcin, Roy, Luca, and congratulations, Jeremy, for two years. Thank you to my one year members, Sasri, Umbreon, Marcella, and Ewis. And thank you to my other Pokeball tier members, Tatsuya Gold, Apsaras Gaming, Kundan Mishra, Pokefrendo, and Edward. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And with that said, this is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. You are this Team Skull Grunt. I will see you in the next video. Rawr.